name is Desiree Francis, and I lead one of the teams at Capital One that finances affordable housing across the country. The work of my team benefits over 10,000 households annually. As we think about the impact of our work, we think not only about the physical structures of the properties, but also about the households who live within the four walls and how we can improve their well being. Affordable housing is one of the key pillars of Capital One's impact initiative, an initial 200 million five year commitment to support growth in underserved communities and to advance socioeconomic mobility by closing gaps in equity and opportunity. Why is housing, more importantly, affordable housing, critical to financial health? Before I answer that question, let me share a commonly used definition of affordable housing. Housing is considered affordable if a household spends no more than 30% of their monthly gross income on housing costs. If your housing costs exceed 30% of your monthly gross income, then you are considered housing burdened. Imagine if you spent more than 30% of your monthly gross income on housing costs, how would that impact your financial health, your ability to save, your ability to build wealth, your ability to weather short-term hardships? 44 million households are renters according to the National Multifamily Housing Council, Quick Facts, Residence Demographics. A 2017 U.S. Government Accountability Office report found that 48% of rental households were cost burdened, up from 42% in 2001. According to Pew Trust, rent burdened households also suffer from financial instability. 64% of households had less than $400 in cash in the bank. 84% of these households are African-American households. Pre-pandemic, rent burden households had higher eviction rates, increased financial vulnerability, a wider use of social safety net programs. These households also had a greater chance of few food insecurity and also a higher chance of skipping medical appointments. According to the Census Bureau's Households Pulse Survey, 49% of renter households reported at least some employment income loss between mid-March and mid-September of 2020. The chances of securing affordable rental housing is less than winning the lottery in some places. In 2019, the New York Times reported that households who applied for affordable rental housing through the New York City housing, housing lottery process had a 1 in 592 chance of securing an affordable rental unit. The odds of winning any New York lottery prize is 1 in 46. The demand for affordable housing is high especially for households with low to moderate income. But the supply of affordable housing isn't sufficient to keep up with the growing demand. The gap has led to our nation's affordable housing crisis. Several years ago, as we thought about resident well-being and properties we financed, we identified a resident need for high-speed digital access. We surveyed over a thousand residents in properties with 10 or more units in 21 cities. What we found is 38% of families with low income relied on smartphones for internet access and to get work done. The main reason being that the cost was too high or they were unable to pay the bill. During the pandemic, many felt the need for high-speed internet and the impact of not having access. The pandemic delayed the pilot launch of the Capital One Digital Access Program, also known as CODA. 
The objective of the CODA program is to promote digital inclusion for residents at properties we financed. The intent of the program is to offer digital access as a pathway for opportunities. Last year, we launched the pilot in 11 properties impacting over 1,000 households. 40% of these households had no or substandard internet access prior to the program. Households are using the internet access device and digital education provided as part of the pilot primarily to pay bills, conduct online banking, complete homework, apply for jobs, benefits, and services, and to connect to family and friends. We are learning from the initial pilot and continue to expand the program to other properties with a strong desire to scale so that all households in affordable housing can have access to high-speed internet. Capital One will continue our work to close gaps in affordable housing and digital access. Housing is so interconnected to all aspects of our lives, including our financial health. I hope that you stay engaged and informed about affordable housing in your community and you seek partnerships that benefit both individual and community financial health. I would like to thank the Financial Health Network for the opportunity to speak with you today.